Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I am so excited you're here. Today's video has been a video a long time in the making. Um, by the title, it is going to be my boob job vlog for the whole week and I am so excited to take you guys along for that. It's currently 5.34. It's so early. I woke up around 5, did like my little pre, uh, pre-surgical shower. I have my hair in my, my little braids because I'm not going to be able to do anything with my hair for a couple of days. Um, but I'm so excited. But I'm, I'm not as nervous as I was yesterday. Yesterday I was a nervous wreck. But we are just so excited today and we're ready to go. So let's go do the dang thing. I'm excited to take you guys through my whole week and just give me updates along the way and through the whole process. Because if you're watching this, you might have some thoughts of doing it yourself too. So I want to give you my true one week experience getting my boobs done. So let's go. This is my fit today they said to wear things that are super easy to get on so i have my baggy black sweatpants and then a little zip jacket they say things that zip and button are like what you want to be wearing for a while so i have that and then i have this sports bra that i got from amazon that also zips too they will be giving me you know, I will have like my own bra on from the facility when I'm done. But this is the fit and I got my Air Force ones on. We're officially ready for surgery. I am back from surgery. It's like, I think like almost two o'clock and I got surgery around probably like seven or so this morning. Um, so they gave me this so super cute little band to wear to keep everything pressed down um, and then a bra. So honestly not a lot of pain, but we've been taking pain medicine like we're supposed to and I'm very tired right now so I'm probably gonna take a nap again it's currently 2.03 I got back from the surgery around like maybe 10 and I just been napping since. I've got up and kind of moved around a little bit, but I've been just resting. Everything went so good. Um, but I'm just really tired now. So I am going to probably eat some lunch and take some more medicines. Um, I'll show you guys what I was given and what I'm currently wearing. Um, for post procedural but yeah it all went really well in a little bit I'll give you like kind of a rundown update about how this morning went down and how smooth and easy everything was it was all so good um, so I'll share the process with you guys in a little bit but let me go show you guys what I'm currently wearing and then I'm gonna go take a nap probably do some netflix shopping here or not netflix oh my gosh i'm on drugs amazon shopping and watch some netflix here in a little bit so let me show you guys what i got on so this is what i have on um they gave me this little band that goes across the top and it helps just keep the implants pressed down and I think I have to wear this for like two or three weeks 
and then they just gave me a stretchy bra um and i have to wear that for like literally a whole six weeks of recovering so that's why i brought a whole bunch of bras i'll probably have to buy some more um but honestly just of pressure not a lot of pain i just took some pain medicines um so yeah i'm definitely gonna go to sleep now um and take a little nap but ooh, like going out this far kind of hurts so we're gonna right in here but anyway so it's a little velcro strap um so i'll be like this for a while um tomorrow i go in for my post-op appointment um and we take everything off and see what it all looks like so that's really exciting but this is the current situation it's currently six o'clock we're gonna eat some dinner. My mom made these really good pizzas that I will show you guys. Um, but they're like healthy pizzas. Um, and I use pita bread for mine. So they're so yummy, I'm ready to eat. I really haven't ate all day today. I just woke up from a nap. So we're probably gonna eat some pizza tonight and we'll have a movie night. I don't know what we'll do. So I'll probably check in tomorrow with everything but I feel pretty good um so if I don't check back in before the night time I'll see you guys tomorrow so these are my pizzas that my mom made these two are mine and they look so yummy and then she made her two pizzas with sourdough bread so it's a win time to eat this pizza looks so good I put ranch on it, and it has <clears throat> ham and chicken, gr ground chicken, spinach, mushrooms. mushrooms, and I put some Parmesan and ranch on the top. That is so good. So my mom is here for the week while I'm recovering. And honestly, like, thank God. Because even, like, the littlest of things, like, I need help doing, like, because I'm just so sore. Like, I can't even, like, shake a bottle of ranch up to, like, without it being, like, hard or reaching to grab things so if you are thinking about having this surgery like making sure someone's with you mm. and someone who can cook for you because I could not have done this today absolutely no way but anyway I'm gonna eat the rest of my dinner with my mom and then we're going to have a movie night. And I'll see you guys for real, for real. Tomorrow morning, we'll check in. See how I'm feeling. And go from there. I also have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, too. Like, a checkup at 9.30. So, hopefully, all is still going well. And, yeah. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ooh. Gotta be still here. Oh, fuck. Mm. morning oh my gosh it's currently 7 22 um and it's currently the next day so i just woke up we're day two um and i will just say wow <laughs> um last night i i got no sleep none um not because i was like in pain but i just could not be comfortable um I was literally up every single hour on the hour so it's as I said 7 30 and I have a post or yeah I have a post op appointment today at 9 30 so my mom and I just woke up and we're going to go um, walk across the street to 
grab some coffee, wake up a little bit, um, and get the day started. But I am so tired, so I'm gonna go ice my face and put on some clothes to walk across the street in. And hopefully this coffee brings me to life. We just finished breakfast. I got a cold brew coffee per usual. I went to this place that's right by my current complex. Um, it's called Press Coffee, it's so good. But we just had our avo toast. It's 8.30, so we have got to walk back to my place. And we're gonna go to my appointment. So I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. But pretty much they're just gonna take a look at everything today, make sure everything's going how it's supposed to. Um, but I will check with you guys in a little bit. But now we gotta go to my appointment. Hey you guys, I am back from my appointment. It's only 12.30 and to be honest, it feels like, it feels like it's five o'clock and I'm not even kidding. Um, but I did come home from my appointment, it went really well. Um, they told me some like exercises that I needed to do, which, oh man. I'm still like really, really sore, but I still have to wear this um, over the top for until my next week uh, checkup, but they gave me some techniques and massages that I need to do because I am so swollen and it's just crazy. So it's currently 3.08, 3, yeah. This is probably the worst I've felt this whole time. So today, um, went to the doctor's, uh, my follow-up appointment and, um, the nurse gave me instructions about, you know, how to reduce swelling, certain massages and things like that, exercises I'm supposed to be doing, like, to help with the settling of everything, and so we did that, and then I came home, um, and I went through those, you know, exercises at another time this afternoon, but ever since, like, 1.30 or 2, I've been completely just, this is the worst I felt for sure. Um, I just feel super, super swollen. Like, it really hurts. So I think I went too hard, too fast with the massages. But I just woke up from a little bit of a nap. I'm going to try to fall back asleep or watch some TV or something, but... Yeah, and my face is so hot. At first we were thinking like, I was like, do I have a fever? But I don't, um, my face is just so swollen. Like you can totally, you can tell. So my body is, is fighting right now, which understandable. It's like, what's going on? But anyway, this little update, day two has not been fun. It was good this morning, but after the afternoon it's, it's not been fun so we're hoping i'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping it'll start turning around here soon so i'll check in later okay a little bit of an update <laughs> um it's 3 30 since i i checked in not too long ago i am currently icing i have those ice packs that i posted about in one of my latest um, YouTube's probably, it'll be up before this, but oh my gosh, ice packs are making me feel so good right now. I have two little, like, triangle, or not triangle, but, um, rectangle ones, like, along the under boob side, and I have them wrapped in, in paper towels so it's not on the skin, and then I have two circle ones that are on top, and when I tell you that this feels so good yeah. so good I just took pain medicine like 15 minutes ago so that's starting to kick in so I think I'm finally hopefully gonna be able to nap a little bit but yeah you guys stay tuned 
day two has been not very nice to me. So, I'm gonna go take a nap now because I can like feel myself like going to sleep. But anyway, ice packs, that, I feel a little bit better right now, which is good. So, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's currently 7.40. My mom and I just got done eating dinner and we had um, like a tuna noodle situation with squash noodles and it was really good. And so now we're gonna just wind down, watch a movie. Um, we made cookies that are the Sweet Lorenz gluten-free and dairy-free cookies. So I am looking forward to that and that's going to conclude the day for day two post-op. Definitely this day was harder than yesterday. Um, just, it was just a lot harder. I'd rate this day like a two out of 10 because it was kind of just rough all the way around. Like my pain was okay, but it, it's just so sore, so sore and everything's so tight. It really does feel like an elephant is kind of just sitting on your chest. Um, but today I had my follow-up appointment and, uh, the nurse went over everything about how to massage and, you know, kind of help with all this swelling and everything. So ever since then, that's when my day went south, which was around like noon. So I'm hoping for a better day tomorrow. From what my friends say, day three and on gets better and better. Fingers crossed. But I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's officially day three and it's 8.15 in the morning. Um, I just woke up probably about half an hour ago. Definitely got better sleep than I did the couple nights before or the last night before. Um, so hopeful for a really good day. My mom and I are about to go on a walk and get some coffee. I'll show you my outfit. So, this is what I'm wearing, um, some Lula shorts, Amazon zip hoodie, and I got some tinnies on. We're just going to go on a walk with a coffee and move around, and that counts as my exercise. <laughs> so, we changed up the hair too, because the double braids were getting kind of crazy. So, anyway, I will check in with you guys later. Definitely huge feeling a lot better this morning, at least, than the last morning yesterday. So, hey you guys, I just realized I haven't really done a check-in since this morning. I went and got my lashes done because I desperately needed them to be filled. That was the worst experience because I had to lay flat for like an hour and a half. So I took medicine before it thinking that would help, but towards the end I was just like, oh my gosh, like it was so much pressure. So now we're back at the apartment. It's 421 and I'm kind of feeling like I was yesterday where my face was like super hot, really red. My boobs feel like super hot. They're, it's just, my body's not liking me right now. So I'm gonna lay down and take a nap. I hope I took some pain meds, but my dad just got here from the airport, so hopefully I'll liven up here in a few hours to, you know, liven up a little bit, but yeah, right now I am down for the count, but over, overall though, today has been a good day, but this last like spurt of two hours has not been great, so I just gotta get back on top of my pain medicine control, I think. Um, because if that sli slips away, then you're just kind of chasing yourself. So, yeah, I might check in later today. Um, but day three, it's going okay. Better than day two. So, I'm hoping tomorrow for day four, we're gonna be a lot better. I freaking hope so. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it's 10.30 in the morning. Um, today's Thursday. <sighs> We're slowly getting better. Um, like last night was way much better than the night before. 
and today so far has been just as good. I know I didn't, um, I didn't really check in yesterday when I, like from the morning, but my dad flew into town, or into city yesterday. I got my lashes done yesterday, which probably wasn't the best decision because a lash fill takes like an hour and a half and I had to lay down flat. So after that happened, I literally just did not feel good for a while. Um, but we're waking up and we feel good today. So yeah, not a whole lot planned for today. I'm just gonna be hanging out around the house. Um, I'm gonna try to not do much and hopefully get all this pain just go away and make it better, but we will see. My camera was about to die, so that's why I cut it off, but I wanted to add one more thing. So as I said, yesterday was, I'm gonna back up real quick. Yesterday was definitely really hard after I got my lashes done because I was laying down flat for a while and I took some medicine to like help with the muscles and it went okay for a while and then we just really started to hurt. So today's technically day, like my full day three because I got surgery on Monday morning and then Tuesday was a full day, Wednesday full day, so this is like my third full day, um, you, I guess you could say almost fourth day, but I wasn't anticipating like this much, but I think it's finally getting better, I definitely was prepared, I think a lot of people told me like the second and third day are the worst days, um, which definitely for sure like Tuesday really sucked and Wednesday was also pretty rough, which was yesterday. And I think I might have like tried to take, not take my pain meds, like stop taking them too soon because my face got so swollen, so red. I was so hot. I was like just not feeling well. So then I took the pain meds and that helped. So I'm definitely gonna be doing those um, more tightly if I need them, but I'm feeling okay today. Um, I'm feeling okay today and actually today too I have to shoot for a brand that I will be posting on my social media stories and on my main page within like the next I don't know when I'll post it but the show must go on um, so I'll be doing that today which is gonna take a lot of like effort because obviously I still don't feel the best but yeah, we weren't anticipating this much for surgery, but it's uh, still so worth it. And I know I'm gonna get better. It's just gonna take a lot of time and patience and in healing. So I still have that sports bra on with like the strap band um, that goes over the top. Um, I did buy more of those sports bras from Amazon that came in last night because I have to wear these bras for like six weeks. So. I got like six different ones for like different colors and whatnot. So, today's gonna be a really low key day. My parents just like stepped out of the house to go do something. I let them just take my car, but I am going to be relaxing today. Um, just trying to keep it real chill because I really haven't been like super chill the last couple of days. So, I'll check back in um, if there's anything to report. I put up a story on my Instagram of a question and answer the other day um, and so I'll be making a YouTube video about that so if you're someone who asked a question and you're watching this or you know you do have questions and you want to know what was asked or hear my answers I'm gonna be making a whole YouTube about it because I got so many questions about like the specifics of like what I did um, and just literally so many questions. So I'm gonna make an actual whole video um, for YouTube for that one. So that'll be coming up in the next coming weeks. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get some stuff done, maybe read a little bit. I have a reel I wanna like make and edit. So that's all I got for now. Hopefully we can keep having a good day. So I'll check back in later. Hey you guys, so today is Saturday. Um, it's actually 9.30 and I just woke up. I didn't check in yesterday because honestly, all I did yesterday was sleep. 
all day long. I I feel like my pain is like getting there like under control for backing off the pain medicine just really good. But like my uh, my boobs are just so freaking sore. So I slept a ton yesterday and I think I was just like catching up sleep from sleep I didn't get post surgery earlier in the week. So we're officially almost to like the full week mark. This will be the last day that I check in with you guys. Um, but yeah, this process have been, has been a lot harder than I anticipated. I have had so many friends who had like really easy recoveries and not saying that mine's difficult, but this is just not what I expected at all. So I'm glad that like we're almost getting over the hump of everything hurting. Um, but yeah, I just woke up at, it's 9.30. Today is a day I've been dreading because it is hair wash day. Like, I have to wash my hair. It's disgusting. So, I've been able to shower this whole time, like, after the 48-hour mark. But I have just, like, not even attempted to do my hair because I was, like, in pain and stuff. But, we it's time. It is time to wash the hair. It's so disgusting. So, I'm going to do that. I'll probably take one of my muscle relaxing pills and then do that because... I feel like my pectoral muscles like spasm like crazy when I move a lot which then like obviously hurts everything that's going on so we're gonna do that I'll check in after I get that done but I have to wash my hair and blow dry so it's gonna be a lot of like oh, I'm not I'm not ready for it I'm really not but anyway I'll check in and see how how I do after this but I'm gonna go do that now because I'm like, I can't look at my hair anymore. It's so gross. But, oh. yeah, I did not expect it to be this, like, hard of a recovery. Not that it's been hard, but, like, oh my gosh. It's been painful. It's been really sore. I have been just on my meds, which has really helped me get through everything. So I'm hoping. And, I'll be even better, continuing, even even better in a couple days, but, okay, let's shower and wash my hair, and I'll check back in if I survive this, so, yeah. Hey, you guys, I'm back. It is, I think, like, almost two in the afternoon on Saturday, so I finally washed and blow-dried my hair, and that was a whole event of its own but honestly today i'm feeling really good as i said this is going to be the last um my last of you know last update of my vlog this week i plan to do a whole question and answer vlog um in one of the next youtube videos from a lot of questions i got on instagram but i think overall we're getting there it's a it's kind of crazy like thinking back of how awful day one and day two were and then how it slowly is just getting a little bit better every single day um today i feel like i'm able to walk around a little bit more and i can at least like raise my arms up and like i was able to wash and wash my hair and blow dry it so the recovery is you know painful at times um but honestly, when you follow your pain medicines and, you know, the medications that they give you, it does help tremendously. I have a um, one-week follow-up appointment next Tuesday or this coming Tuesday. And so hopefully at that point, I'll be able to take this off. And um, this is a little band that they have you put up around your implant. That way it keeps everything pressed down and not not letting it rise up since it's a very new you know incision and everything but um pain's doing really well today I haven't I think maybe I took some Advil once and I took my muscle relaxer before I showered so hopefully we'll continue to just get better every day but that is going to conclude my vlog for this week um what an experience I have to say, <laughs> um, I didn't anticipate it being as 
eventful for me and like as intense as it was but made it through and it's just going to get better and better from here so as i said i'll be making a question and answer youtube here in the next you know you know couple videos to come so if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that when i release that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah.